Once you've created sequence steps and added the contacts that you'd like to reach out to, the next step is to customize settings for the particular sequence. This step is very important since it has a direct impact on the number of tasks that your sales team will get per day. So let's take a look at the general settings. Here you can specify the email account for sending emails or edit the sending address if emails have not been sent from the sequence. Be aware that once you've sent an email address and started sending, you won't be able to change the email. You can set the limit of the maximum number of sent emails per day in case you need to limit the sending within one sequence, or if you need to warm up your new email domain. Here, in Maximum, Daily Prospects Throttling You can define how many new contacts will be processed within the sequence on a daily basis. It is a useful option when you run a sequence that consists of different step types. For instance, if you have a call step in your sequence and set the daily prospects throttling to 25, you will not get more than 25 call tasks within a day, for example. This option helps to properly manage your workload for reps who manually process call and task steps created by sequences. You can set the delay between each email sent in seconds. We recommend at least a 20 to 30 second delay to avoid your account being blocked for spam activity. The Disable Opens Tracking option removes the tracking pixel from the email sent via the sequence. Emails will only be tracked by replies. Open tracking is enabled by default. Enable Link Tracking is an option to track the clicks on links within your emails sent to your prospects. It's disabled by default to improve the deliverability rate and avoid spam filters. Next goes Replies Handling. Here, you can specify the action taken when a person replies to an email in the sequence. By default, it's always marked as finished, which means the system stops the sequence if a person replies. Another option is to continue sending emails, which means to keep sending emails even if a prospect replies. This option is useful when a customer success manager or account manager needs to reach out to customers regularly. In the next field, you can set the number of days after which the system assigns the finished status to the people who didn't reply. In settings, you can select how to handle call and task steps, automatically or manually. In manual mode, you must finish the tasks manually to move the contact to the next step. When automatically, the sequence moves the contact to the next step after the step delay and finishes the current task. You can set the system to call a prospect automatically after they open your email several times. When the system calls your prospect, it connects with you first, displays the name of the sequence and the name of the prospect and offers to call them. You can either accept the connection or decline it. If you activate the pause on successful call slider, it stops email sending. The system will not send emails to this contact after a successful call more than six seconds. In advanced settings, you can specify which type of emails, first step or follow-up, are prioritized in case the sequence approaches sending limits. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us via support at reply.io. Thank you.